Dolphin Doug here to answer the question of, is it dark in Alaska in the wintertime for six months a year? And the answer, like everywhere, is yes. The second question is, what is, what is it like in the wintertime? It is December 11th, a Sunday, and this is just typical weather. I am standing right now at the Brotherhood Bridge Trail Overlook and Trailhead, and it's one of the sunniest spots in Juneau. Uh, let's see, right over this way, if it if I was slightly over to the to, closer to the 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 um, trailhead, then uh, you'd be able to possibly see a corner of the glacier from here. It's a couple miles away, and you can get a lot closer to it. But that's why people stop here. If you rent a car, I'd recommend you come and make a quick, you know, just tourist stop right here. It's a very pretty place, particularly when the fireweeds in bloom. So, um, it's a few of the bus companies do this. It's a busy spot right now because everybody's walking their dogs because it's Sunday. So I step over to the bus parking lot, which is just a little ways away. So, the, uh, I mean, that's north of here, but then if I go down and point you towards, let's see, now you're looking over my shoulder southeast. There aren't really any big mountains there, and then southwest, you can see just a little ro low ridge of hills. So, <clears throat> the reason this is sunny is because when the sun does get above the horizon, it gets above the mountains as well. And then it stays above them because the south of here, the, the ridge on Douglas Island is far enough away that even at the lowest day of the year, the winter solstice, uh, it, the, the sun just clears those mountains. The sun does not get very high. And so I am standing outside at about 325 in the afternoon. In the next 10 minutes or so, it's gonna get remarkably darker. Now, I am just amazed looking at this image on the camera it's a iPhone 13 and it's not even the, the, the fanciest photo one, but you can see my face. Whereas when I look at my hand, there's no way that I'd want to read a book in the amount of lightness we have. Now I have stood out on my back deck just past midnight and looking really closely, I could read a newspaper. It's not nearly that dark. And of course that's in the, that's at the summer solstice, June 21st, 22nd in the middle of the summer when it was clear and we didn't have heavy overcast. So we get the daytime in the summer. And if you're a tourist, you're almost certainly coming up here. Then we get the darkness. Now, this is one of the two biggest reasons why Juno may not be the right place for you. A lot of people have problems with the darkness and I'm one of them. So to me, it's one of the top numbers. Although I think I came up with 37 reasons why you might not want to live in Juno. You have to figure out ways to mitigate all of them in order to make this place uh, some place you might want to stay. But for those of you that are just tourists coming up here, you might as well just enjoy it. Now it's still relatively bright, but all day long, because we've got this overcast, people have been um, driving with their headlights on. That's just the way it is. You do that for six months out of the year. Now, it's not really six months out of the year. Juneau is in the southern part of the state. We're at latitude 58, almost latitude 60. And so our shortest day is six hours long, approximately from 9.30 to 3.30 but it really depends on where you are because there are other places I used to live a half mile from here and it was sunny right through the winter as long as the clouds weren't too heavy. But I also lived on North Douglas Island and I bet there were two and a half months where the sun did not strike the house that I lived in because I was nestled up on the north side of the house. It's a beautiful little cabin in the woods, but it was really dark and dismal. So the, the local geography makes a big difference. I've got these mountains around here. And if you're on the south side of a mountain, it makes no difference to your light. But if you're on the north side or east side or west side of a mountain, it's gonna cut off hours of sunlight in the winter when it really matters. So come on up. You're coming in the summer, almost certainly. Nobody comes to Juneau in the wintertime. There's lots of stuff and it's a beautiful place, but it's really hard to squeeze it all in when it's dark and dismal. Now, right now it's about 20 degrees and it's been down to 16. It's relatively cold for Juneau. Most of the time, it's somewhere between 35 degrees above freezing down to about 20. And we've had a strange fall where we get these cycles of warmer air up into the 40s and it drops down well below 20 a couple of times now. It's just, it's just, it's, it's, it's not unusual. It's just like me standing out here in this, let's call it three inches of snow. It could be more, 
Yeah, I don't think there's much more than three inches of snow around. Maybe it's a couple more inches than that. It could be three feet of snow. It could be absolutely no snow at all. This is not Fairbanks. Fairbanks up there at latitude, I don't know what it is. It's something like 65 almost. Maybe it's, I don't actually know. Um, but Fairbanks gets only four hours of daylight in the winter. But the difference is Fairbanks does not have these mountains. So they've got horizon to horizon view. Now, now, let me see if I can get my hand out here. The sun, when it's high, is only going to be about that high. It doesn't get that high above the, the, the horizon this far north. In Fairbanks, it's even lower, but Fairbanks only has low ridges around it. You know, hills, they call them hills. And so almost everywhere in, sun, in, in Fairbanks, and almost every day through the winter, because it's much, much less cloudy up there, they will get an hour of time when they need to wear sunglasses. I personally almost never carry sunglasses in Juneau, even when I go out boating, etc. The times when I need it, I keep telling myself, I need that sunshine just as much. I need it to get into my eyes to make me feel happy again. So I just live without it. I go down south and you bet, just like you guys, I wear sunglasses. There's a reason for sunglasses. But up here, I'm soaking it in all the time. Whereas if you live in Fairbanks, you probably have sunglasses in your car and you put them on for an hour a day if you go for a drive at lunchtime. Or more likely, you go for a walk in the middle of the day when you've got that bright sunshine and it's minus 40 degrees. But that's another thing. It, since you're on this subject, we might as well talk about you're worrying about it being dark. The other thing you're going to worry about is being cold. Is it cold? Well, Juneau is much warmer than, than, uh, than Fairbanks, but Juneau has a wet cold. So when it's 20 degrees here, it's probably equal to about zero in Fairbanks. I'd say it's about a 20 degree difference. I've had a friend from Juneau. She went up to Fairbanks and it was 40 below and she says it was a wonderful time as long as you just wear a light jacket and keep moving. Now your fingers will freeze if you touch anything. So it's a little bit of a different. I'm not downplaying the coldness of Fairbanks. Fairbanks will kill you. They have times when you can't even drive the car because the tires are so cold. But uh, even so, it's a good place to, uh, to, to experience that. My, my, I've heard of people out there because putting in septic systems, water systems, and houses are so hard. It's not hard down here in Juneau, but up in Fairbanks, it can cost you as much as the house to put in a septic system. So people use outhouses up there when it's 40 below. And I've known people that have lived like that. They say it's not that bad. Sometimes you put a heater out there, but one person just had screened in meshing around it and said, you just go from the warm house out there, you get your job done really fast, and you take your showers in town, etc. The problems go away, you don't worry about it. That's real Alaska. But on the other hand, people I know from Fairbanks, when they come to Juneau, they say the weather's worse here. People from Anchorage, when they come to Juneau, and these are Juneau people that like Juneau, they say the weather's worse in Juneau. It's dark, it's cold, it's wet. Some of us love it. So come on up, enjoy it, or stay home and stay warm and dry, and you can just appreciate it on the videos. Have a great day.